Hey everyone, this is a three-part video series on the Flipper Zero on the sub gigahertz demo I'm releasing on GitHub later tonight. Um, so the first video, we're going to just take a look at the application. Um, the second video, we're going to talk about how you can add sub gigahertz into your own application for receive and transmit. And then the third video, we're going to take a look at the code for this application. So let's go ahead and get in there. All right, so this is the demo. Um, I don't have another flipper, so I'm actually using a HackRF1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and capture the packets. Um, so I'm going to press OK. We're at 38. OK, we're at 45. Up arrow, up arrow, long up arrow. And OK, we were at 70. Um, so all those packets got transmitted, and the other flipper should have been reacting to those signals. Um, so now what we're going to do is transmit them back from the HackRF back to this flipper to see what would have happened um, if we had been doing that. So you can see it received the code of 38 and then it received the code of 46. And you could hear the like the tones from the high and the low um, from the up and the hold up. So basically that's the application. Um, so it sends the current count when you press the OK button and then it sends either a uh, 440 hertz tone if you press up, or it sends an 880 hertz tone, which is the octave higher, if you hold up and let go. Um, so that's it. Um, the next video, we'll talk about how you can add sub gigahertz to your flipper applications to maybe make a multiplayer game or something. Um, and then in the third video, we're going to take a look at this demo. So thanks for watching.